Hey guys, I'm Blockchuck here. Welcome back to some Crash Bandicoot 2. In the last episode, we did Bee Heaving. Today, we're going to be doing the boss. Now, this is at the beginning when I first played this, through this game as a little boy. I'm like, well, this is the end of the game. I beat it. That was pretty fun. But then I was wrong. I was wrong. I'm supposed to deliver the crystals to Engine, but then you don't know the trick that you're being tricked. And this is where you figure it out. I think. Because he mad, bro. He doesn't want the crystals, he wants you dead. But, this is not an easy boss. This is not, no, this is probably the hardest boss in the game. In my opinion. I'm not good at this game, so, oh yeah, apparently, you, you, instead of doing anything, you can only jump and push buttons, basically, almost all the buttons, to do that. Basically, all the buttons will shoot apples. Except for jump. Basically the slide and spin buttons. It's not that hard of a boss until it gets to like the third stage or whatever. So bye arm. You son of a I don't know why he does that. Good job, me. Interesting sound effect there. Dun, 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 dun. This is the really annoying part. You have to watch the shadows. I can't believe I've done this far just in general. I'm so I've never done this boss in one go before, so we're gonna find out I, I haven't been talking because I'm trying to not get owned. Oh shit. That's not very fun. Screw you, arm. Did I kill? Uh oh. Definitely not. That's not good. Haha, <laughs> get on, get on, get on, noob! First try! That's amazing! Holy! Holy, that's the first time I've ever done that boss in one go before! That's unbelievable. Okay, so here's the last, last, last set of levels besides from the secret area. GG, here comes Mr. Cortex himself. Uh, what is your problem, Bandicoot? I will not ask you again to bring me the crystals. Obtain the remaining five crystals, Crash, and bring them to me. Crash is still dumb enough to understand, not understand that he's getting tricked. But you know, the game has to progress somehow. Anyway, since these levels are really long, from here on out, every level I'm going to be doing is long, including the ones with the bonuses. Um, and I have now progressed farther than my file I played before I started the Let's Play. Every um, boss, which is the only one more after this, um, spoiler alert, that boss is just going to be this video, so on the next episode we're doing Piston It Away, and yeah. First space type level, pretty cool man, I'm excited, I'm going to do one of these in the last set of my recordings, I've been recording ever since sewer or later I think, no, ever since something, I recorded the entire, well, I'll tell you, ever since when I said it, it's the third, third um, set of recordings, yeah, anyway, see you then, alright, hey guys, Block Jock here, on the last episode we fought Engine, and on this episode, we're going to bite, no, we're not.
we're gonna do pissing it away. So this is a fun level. Lots of new things. I'm not gonna. Well, I'm gonna end up explaining them all anyway, so I'm not gonna say I'm not going to, because I will. So yeah, new everything basically, except for the boxes. So these things are pretty self-explanatory. Crush you. These are again variants of the things I was talking about. As I said, they're later in the game, but in different variants. This is what I was referring to. These, I don't know what to call them, space versions of things in ruination levels. These, you can only, I, I call them vacuum things. I don't know what they actually are supposed to be. Um, you can only jump on them. And there are variants where they are closed and there are variants where they switch. So. So we're clearing, or nearing the end of the game. But we're not nearing 100% yet. We've only just barely got past 60. So, just over halfway. Still got a long way to go. Long way to go. I don't know why it was hesitating. That was really concerning. So here's the other variant of where you have to slide it or spin it, I believe. And here's the variant where it switches. Let's see if we can spin. Yep, we can spin it. Good to know. All right. So we've now they've introduced the two types of those vacuum things. I'm just gonna follow. So now they're just going to pretty much almost always give us the double now that they've shown both. Which is a good strategy to show both versions and then add them together. I like it. I like it. So these these platform things right there, they'll burn you if you touch them. So yeah, be careful of that. That's for sure. Oh my gosh, that's close. I was so scared. Not sure what that's really supposed to be. Probably just a burn. Look at more death bonuses. I'm not gonna even attempt that. That's crazy. Actually, yes, I will. Before I go into there, I just want to see if it's really hard. Okay, it's really hard. No, it's not. It's not as difficult as I thought it would be. Definitely not easy. Because of that. I'm smart. I'm not gonna bother with that. Again. I'll be redoing almost half the levels at this point to get the gems because I'm not gonna bother with the things like that. Death root. Ouch. So this is a ray. It's just shrink away array. I think if you um, actually hit the um, I'm smart. It's when you hit the pad over there. I'm trying to hit it as it's right here. So yeah, there's another trap. Don't want to get hit by that. Mate. I'm not sure if I should keep these boxes or not, so I'm just going to keep them just in case. There are a lot of trolls in the bonuses after this point. From this point on, basically. Like this. You really need this box here. Or else you can't get back. <laughs> now I dug those clever developers. They made really good level design in these games. So, I definitely say good job. Wow, that was a lot of lives, I didn't realize. That I got a lot of lives and they're good, because this game gets really difficult from this point on. If you haven't noticed already. Oh, I didn't know I could do that. These guys are just like rat shield guys, you have to knock them off. push you off obviously you can double hit them but <clears throat> I'll try it on the next guy if I can it's just it's risky this is probably the least risky um, life <laughs> it's not that hard 
Okay, I can't, I don't, can't even double hit that guy. Oh, now I can. But I can't even move because my controller disconnected. Wow, thank you. I, I, somehow, wow, I'm in the ground. Uh, that didn't make sense. Okay, I'll try this. Yeah, like that. They really, they scream a lot. That was smart. I'm doing really good. Apparently, you can be fairly far from them. Hitbox is fairly big on them, then. If you can get pushed at that far range, it's kind of a rip. I think that can turn into a checkpoint if you suck enough. I don't know. It's a possibility. How did I manage to screw that up so bad? I just completely got off the whole screen. I was like, I'm going somewhere else, different level. That was crazy. Interesting music in this level. Not too bad though. The music from Crash 1 is really good too. Alright, well, I'm at the end of the level. 69. <laughs> funny, funny. Alright, well, I'm gonna finally stop recording. I've been recording for hopefully long enough. It's a lot of videos right there. Good at least 10. I've made, played at least 8 levels, so, you know, it's pretty good. So, a little view of the world. Shows to that level. Not a shout out to that level. That level's stupid. That's a good level. These two levels are very unique. Anyway, on the next episode, we're doing Rock It. And that's kind of funny. Double meaning. Rock It. Try and figure it out if you haven't played this game before. Anyway, Piston It Away, we've just done. On the next episode, Rock It. And again, hopefully you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next episode.